Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of This Is Our Life. And this is a cup that has one drop of water in it. Okay, this is a... I'm going to say something about terrorism in Boston. Um, as my regular viewers know, I'm, I'm from Spain. And, look, we, we had to deal with so much in those days, okay? We had... Uh, Franco and his idiots, you know, we had the Guardia Civil, we had the various police forces, the military and whatnot. I mean, you could just, and, and it's essentially, some of the stuff is going on over here now. Like Gitmo, you know, and the Patriot Act, you can be arrested, put in prison, and never be charged, and never get out of prison. That's not freedom. And it's not people overseas doing that. It's your own government doing that to you. But let me tell you something. The Basque used to blow up cars and things like that, in, especially in Sevilla. Did we let that stop us from living our lives? Nope. We went ahead and lived. Now, it happened in Madrid as well, but we didn't live near Madrid. You know, we, we, lived, we didn't live in Sevilla. We lived close to Sevilla. And... Um, so we went there a lot because I mean it was the you know outside of the the city we lived in uh, Cadiz, Cadiz, uh, Sevilla was the biggest city. Uh, so you know we had to go there a lot. Plus, you have to go there for legal reasons because that's where everything was headquartered. Um, but you know you knew that it was a possibility that something bad was going to happen, but you know what? Bad things happen anyway. You know, what happened in Boston the other day, that's not the first time something like that has happened in this country. How many of you remember the 60s and 70s? How many of you remember the 80s? Remember the Tylenol scare? That was the 80s. You know, uh, what about the, the bombings at, at uh, military recruiting stations, at university labs? Uh, what about the uh, in in the 80s and 90s? You had um, the Cold War. You had the Cold War to deal with. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, nukes. Um, you had ALF, uh, Animal Liberation Front, and ALF, Earth Liberation Front to deal with. And did did we stop living? No, we didn't stop living. This is going to happen no matter what. Things like this will happen. And what you do is you keep living your lives and you don't live in fear. And it's not a bunch of Muslims. I'm no fan of Islam. Don't, so don't get me wrong. I am no fan of Islam. But it's not a bunch of Muslims doing this. That At least it's not a bunch of Muslims that are making laws. You know, the people making laws are your own people. In Washington, D.C., in, in Concord, in Austin, in... Um, Springfield, you know, it's not foreigners making these laws. It's your own people. So, you know, don't get too upset at the foreigners when, you know, and, and let me say something else. Obama has been using drones to kill children and, and to kill American citizens. And let me tell you, if I were an Afghani father, and Obama used a drone to kill somebody and he happened to kill my kids. What do you think I would do? How do you think I would feel? How about you? What, what do you think you would do? How, do you, how would you feel? Think about this. It's called blowback.